so many other examples, like the scandal of BFI and our public services, like the fact half of all public sector spending now goes on private profiteers. We could use the example of, of ATOS, a company, a corporation which stripped away benefits from disabled people. A4E, we could use G4S now involved to call next Formerly in G4X, they were supposed to provide security, they didn't they? Do you remember that? And they didn't. And who had to step in? The state again. And that is so often the case with privatisation. They nationalise the debt and they privatise the profit. But enough is enough. You're out here not just fighting for yourselves, you're out here fighting for everybody. You're out fighting against a society that's run as a racket for a tiny group of people at the top. A society running the interests of the mean and the greedy. And what you're fighting for instead is the basic principle of social good, not private profit. The basic principles that every single person in work deserves a living wage. In a country where most people in poverty are in work, earning their poverty day after day whilst those wages, those poverty wages, are subsidised by the state. You're out there fighting for all workers who are being made to pay for a crisis they had nothing to do with. And that again is why it's so important. Because often people think we go out and we fight to say we, ha we, we gave it a go. At least we got it off our chest. At least we could tell people we tried. But if we go on strike, if workers fight and they have solidarity and unity, they can win. So many people, they think we can't fight back, it's too difficult, it's too hard, but when people like you take action and you stand on the picket lines like this, you give other people hope and courage as well. So as so many other people like yourselves have baked into the streets and you take a hit, you take sacrifice, and our ancestors who built this country, whether it be back to the Chartists, the suffragettes, those who fought for the welfare state, the NHS, who fought racism and sexism and homophobia, who were spat at in the streets and battened by police officers. We stand on the shoulders of giants, our ancestors who built this country at so much cost and sacrifice. Well, that is the tradition all of you are standing in today. So if we have the same hope and determination and courage as our ancestors did, if we look at all those workers across this country who are fighting and winning, if we stand together, if we fight together, we will win together. Keep giving us hope, keep fighting solidarity. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much, Owen. And uh, just a little footnote, because we know something about G4S here. Uh, one of the managers who worked on G4S for the Olympics was employed here for two years as a security consultant. It was him who brought in the private company, CIS, into the Sainsbury Wing. So they like to, the, the thieves like to hang out together, basically. Where is he now? Where is he now? Where is he now? He's gone, but keep watching his profile to find out which of these private companies board of directors.